Three, two, one, go. Hi everyone, we are the Three Degrees team, and I'm Hershey. I am a junior studying economics and psychology. Uh, I'm Stephanie. I'm studying art and design and an, uh, an entrepreneurship minor. I'm Connor. I'm studying economics and environmental studies. I'm Rashi. I'm studying organizational studies and minoring in science, technology, and society. And right now I want to talk about the BLI book questions that Three Degrees is dealing with. The first one is promote sustainable environmental behavior. Three Degrees wants to help provide financial incentives and promote responsible consumerism on the University of Michigan campus in Ann Arbor. We want to start where we are, and that's why we thought that this would be a great way to target Greek life and local Ann Arbor restaurants. We want to make people think about sustainability in their future actions. And the second big question we deal with is strengthening connections between communities and steward base. And our organization definitely wants to deal with changing the campus culture on sustainability. And this is why we decided to target fraternities and create that harmony between IFC and Penhouse. Today, we as, a, we as a global community face an issue of overconsumption and waste production. So some of the hazards, health hazards associated with these are ecosystem damage, cancer, ocean pollution, and respiratory diseases. Um, so where do we put our waste? So the United States has often outsourced their waste to Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam, but these countries are no longer taking uh, our waste in general and have refused to. Previously in the past, China has also been buying or recycling, but as of um, a few years ago, China is no longer doing that this either. So the United States and the world in general has been left with just a ton more waste than we're used to. Uh, for example, um, we're left with cups, which is what we want to target, and they take forever to degrade nearly 500 years. Um, so in a study, a study said that 16% of Americans are concerned about our environment and 93% don't know what and how to compost in Ann Arbor. So some of the barriers that we see in uh, organizations taking on sustainable goods are the price, the convenience, the education around sustainability, and the environment. What we want to do is realign the incentives so these businesses and Greek like organizations here in Ann Arbor um, don't have to face these bar barriers like price, convenience, education, and environment, and instead, are, instead have incentives to uh, promote sustainability and use sustainable products. Okay, and so part of realizing how we're going to change uh, the culture of sustainability is to introduce a GPO bulk buying model. And um, what that's going to do is it's going to target businesses directly um, so that if you stop the source of all these wasteful products, uh, less people will be consuming them when they actually frequent these places. So Stephanie mentioned GPO. So what exactly is that? If you have, you're just pizza and you have cups and you have NYPD pizza and you also have cups. Instead of both of you buying cups separately, what a GPO does is take both of your orders of cups, puts them in one big order um, and uses bulk buying economics to negotiate prices um, and gives those cups to you. Essentially, they're a middleman between companies and different manufacturers. Through bulk buying economics, each cup then becomes cheaper. So the more you have in an order, the cheaper the price ends up being. So this is a traditional GPO model. And why we're different is because we don't want to just work with companies. We want to work with individual University of Michigan students. We want to work with Greek life and hopefully eventually expand to businesses as well. In addition, most GPOs concentrate just on price. Their goal is to reduce the price for each cup, for instance. For us, we want to reduce the cup, the price of an environmentally sustainable cup, such as a compostable cup, to be lower than a traditional styrofoam cup. Because traditionally speaking, styrofoam cups and other non-sustainable products are relatively cheaper. And so we want to switch that around to incentivize people to use more sustainable practices um, in their organizations. So what we have instead is we have various stakeholders like Greek life, student events, and pools of University of Michigan individuals to add to our bulk order and then reduce the price of, like I mentioned earlier, compostable and environmental sustainable products. So touching a little bit more on how we're going to reach out uh, so 
reach out beyond locally in Arbor businesses is opening up to the idea of educational modules for on-campus activities um, and also for social media as well. Uh, we find that the students here like to enjoy content uh, regarding sort of street halls and then infographics on how they can increase sustainable practices in their day-to-day -day lives. So these are our qualifications and Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, please email us.